Welcome to another video. I uh, actually I think today's day 930. Uh, it's 256 p.m. I got up, uh, mowed across the street, took care of that. Um, got something to eat, took a shower, and now I'm on my way downtown. Traffic is terrible. If you know anything about Hudson, you can tell I'm almost there. There's the infamous clock tower. Uh, I'm gonna go get a haircut because uh, it's getting a little obnoxious. Anyways, happy Friday. It's finally here. We're rocking 80 degrees right now, and there's definitely thunderstorms in the area. So I'm going to try to make this quick, get the pig home before she pisses, and uh, go from there. Hey guys, here's the before, which isn't actually too bad. It's only been a few weeks. And there's an after for you. It'll be a little bit easier to take care of, I guess. I feel like I lost a few pounds. That was good news. Okay, it's time to do the worst bit of car maintenance. At least for me. I hate doing this. Inside of the front windshield. I did the outside the other day and I noticed a few uh, imperfections that didn't come off the outside glass, so I can only assume they're on the inside. Uh, took a microfiber and cleaned off the, the, the top of the inside, like right here. And then driving into sunlight, I can see that that is a lot clearer than the rest of it, whereas the rest of it is more almost hazy. I haven't probably cleaned it since I got this windshield installed on May 11, so it's been two years. So now we're going to do it with this stuff, which says it's cloud free. That would be cool. Used it on the outside, I actually really like it. It's a foam instead of a spray, which supposedly is better for, uh, for good glass and whatnot, so I guess I'm going to do it. I hate doing it because it makes a mess. As I said, Get a little bit on the dashboard, a little bit on the steering wheel, and this stuff is not good for leather or whatever this stuff is. It takes the oils out of it. Uh, Alright, I'm going to clean it. I think it's done. Noticed a few chips. Um, this windshield might have 25,000 miles on it. I think there's two, which you can't really see from the outside. Maybe I can point them out from the inside. Let's take a look. Um, this one happened uh, somewhere on a highway somewhere, I don't remember. Camera will never see it. And I don't see the other one now. They're not bad at all. They're not ones that could even be filled. But that's what happens with the windshield. If you ever drive your car, you're gonna get chips in your windshield, period. So, it's actually a lot better. Remember I had this, the, the original windshield came on the car when I bought it, of course. And uh, I was on Route 8 down in Cuyahoga Falls and I emerged behind a truck to get off. I was behind a truck for maybe 14 seconds. And I got a big gnarly chip right here. It was huge. They could have fixed it for like half the price of the new windshield, but ooh, lots of deer back there. Check it out. But there were tons of chips in the windshield already, so I just had them replace it. But yeah, I see like four deer back there. So uh, no complaints. It's a car. It's stuff's going to happen to it. As little as possible, yet still. So that's all cleaned up. I'm not going to do the back because I did it about a year ago and it sucks. You have to take the headrests out, and my towel afterwards was like orange. It's nasty, but that's still okay. So I don't know what's going on tonight. It's a Friday. It's definitely getting cloudy out here, aside from a little bit of blue over there. Wait, there it is. So, I don't know. I'm waiting for Alex to get off work. Razvan's doing stuff for school, I think. He didn't answer me. And um, keep watching, we'll find out. The yard I did was over there, so that's good to get done. This one will need it later, and, and these two are doing okay right now. So, we're making good progress. Well, we may as well live in Florida now. It seems like every day around uh, 4, 5, 6 o'clock, the thunderstorms roll in and then it rains for an hour. And then after that, we may have clear blue skies again. It's damn hot air and high humidity. You can see how dark it is over there. And I've been hearing thunder for a little bit. And there's been stuff all over the state on radar all day. So, cars inside, whatever. Uh, Mom and sister are coming home. I think we're going to go get something to eat before whatever tonight's festivities have in store. Well, I thought I was done pulling wheels off cars for a while, but clearly not. Look at that, it's a Honda wheel. Oh, what do you know? Let me open the garage door for more light. All right, call me an idiot if you want for trusting a, hydro a hydraulic jack to hold the weight of the car, but I do, and I always have, and I probably always will until it bites me in the ass. Anyways, that's what a Honda Accord rear brake looks like. It is very different than the M5. I mean, I, I get that we're looking German... Germany versus, uh, I don't know, Honda Korea, Japan, Japan, um, and a performance $70,000 car and an and a everyday $25,000 car. But anyways, the tire was really low, so I took it off. It was 
is much lower than it should be, so I was just looking for punctures. But while I have it off, I checked the brake pads, and aside from having a pretty damn rusty caliper here, thanks to Ohio, uh, the caliper's in good shape. Aside from that, pads look good. Um, they, I guess Honda uses nuts instead of bolts. I think I prefer the bolt method a little bit more. Maybe it's easier to put it back on, though, since you just slide it over the bolts here. But uh, everything in here looks fairly clean. The strut is tiny and very long in comparison to the M5. There's the exhaust right there. That's easy to get to. There's a lot of different pieces, a lot of links down here. I mean, connecting the, the, the entire hub here to the car, there's probably like 20 different pieces of metal, whereas the M5 has maybe five, including that big H-arm. So this is a completely different setup. And this wheel's pretty tiny in comparison to the M5s too, at least a rear wheel. This is probably like a 215 or something. I don't know, it's a Michelin. 215.50 R17. That's what Honda uses. Okay, that's done. I didn't find anything, so I guess I'll just keep my eye on that tire and uh, I'll let you know what happens. They can't see me through the tinted windows on the Impala. We're not eating oh. in our house, we're going to pull forward, right? Yeah. I was so confused at first. I'm like a McDouble. <laughs> Double from Arby's. <laughs> wait, wait. Get the guy. Get the, guy. Get the guy. Yeah, they can't see me through the tin window. That's five percent tin right there, man. Five percent? Five percent. The next step up was spray paint. You know this. Let me give your ass a checklist. One gold watch, two gold chains, six gold rings. It's not got gold. OG, John, gold, no time. Socks, no shirt. I'm I never would have guessed I would find myself in this situation a year ago. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. Son of a bitch. Oh god! Guys, welcome back. It's 2.26 in the morning. What do you know? I'm still up. I'm still kicking. Anyways, I um, went over to Alex's for a little bit. Hung out on the deck. Went down the basement. He played some game. Watched that for a while. That was interesting. Now we're home. Um, leave me a comment. I won't go hungry now for a while, and that's nice. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. It's not as creepy as as, uh, as much that you know where I live as what you chose to put in Christmas paper. But anyways, it's interesting, and thanks for the card. So uh, that, that was that was a fun part of the day today. So I got a haircut. I cleaned the car up a little bit. Then it rained. It's actually still wet, at least in the landscaping out here. 928 or 9, I think, today and counting. Uh, I don't see an end. I don't know. Some people ask, how long are you going to keep doing these videos? And there's no clear-cut answer. Believe me, I don't know. Uh, I started, I did 55 days once before, and that ended badly. And, sorry, camera cut out there. Now I'm on day 929, or whatever I said. Something like that. It's crazy. So it's actually cool out here. This is the first time I've felt cool in quite a while. It's probably 60-something degrees, but it's not too bad. Uh, I'm, I'm blocked in here with some plants. Hmm. I don't know. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I don't know what's going to be the deal with the car. Uh, we'll go from there. I want to go back to the pool, but with this dicked weather where it clouds up and rains every day for a couple hours, that kind of throws a wrench in those plants. So I guess come back tomorrow and see what another day in the invigorating life of me has in store. With that, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, Saturday already. I, I've been home a week. It, I, I don't even know what to say. Uh, California. I was there for 10 days. It felt uh, usually it goes by really quickly and saying that it didn't go by quickly makes it sound like a bad time But it wasn't it was a great time. No, no, no less than, than usual. In fact, probably more having uh, Colton Ken on there. So Okay, I'm rambling now. I'll talk to you tomorrow on Saturday. Good night